Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's episode, I thought I'd have a little chat about how I'm getting on with the couch to 5K training that I've been doing. Um, it's been going pretty well so far, and I'm feeling fitter, uh, more confident, and generally pretty chuffed with my progress. But in the last few, few runs, I've suffered some setbacks. So I thought I'd have a little chat about how I've overcome them. I'm off out on a run again today and you remember last time I talked about motivation well it's taken everything I've got to come and do this today um, because my last two runs haven't been very successful on week seven run three the 25 minute my third one so I'd done two already I had to stop halfway and go to the toilet uh, so that wasn't good um, but I carried straight on I, I once I got going again I felt chipper and I really ran nicely for the second half um, and then week eight run one, which is a 28 minute one, I didn't follow my own advice and I mistimed um, going out when it was a bit too warm. And so I only managed 18 minutes and I just kind of talked myself out of it. I had a real difficult time um, trying to keep myself on track and believing in myself. So I'm, I'm going back to run three week seven, 25 minutes this evening, and I'm hoping to try and nail that to get myself back on track. I'm super tough for that. I managed to complete that 25 minute run without a hitch. So uh, didn't have to do any stops, didn't have to slow down. In fact, I was even able to go a little bit quicker. My confidence is right back up there and I'm raring to go for week eight. Off the back of that 25 minute run, which went really well, I wanted to make sure I gave myself the best possible chance with the 28 minute. So, I wasn't massively feeling it uh, the day I should have run, which was one day's uh, break and then, then start running. So I decided to give myself a second day because I was feeling a bit nervous and um, still feeling a bit tired. And I thought, you know, I need to give myself a boost. I've got to get this one under the belt and get it to go right. And you know what? It paid off. So it went really well. Um, I ran a different route so that I didn't uh, trip myself up and give myself something to think oh that's where I failed last time and I felt strong and I got through it. I am feeling really pleased with myself this morning that is the second run of uh, week eight and my third run since I had those two setbacks the the need in the toilet and the just feeling exhausted in the sun um, so this is great news because I had started to think that well, maybe running's not for me I'd really lost my mojo with it and my confidence but actually, I'm right back up there now. I'm ready for the next 28 minute and I feel ready to, um, to keep going. It was tough today because it was similar conditions to the one I failed. It was pretty warm, warmer than I expected again. Um, but this high, I, I want some more of this. So I will be um, continuing my running, even though I have been able to get in the sea this week for a little dip. At the end of this week's running, I'm feeling really pleased with myself. Um, I've managed to overcome the setbacks that I had by taking a couple of steps. I went back to the first one that I failed and restarted from there and built on that positive energy of getting one right. Um, I added an extra day's rest because I thought that maybe I was trying to push myself a bit too hard and that went nicely. And I just thought about how I'd managed to achieve the uh, the first one and how how great that felt and I just managed to push myself on that extra three minutes so really pleased and you can see the beaming look on my face to have managed to get myself back on track I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you have you'll give it a like could you put in the comments if you know how I can stop my lower arms aching I don't know why they ache it's like between my um, elbow and my wrist just aches while I'm running along. Maybe you've got a technique that I can use to overcome that because it's a bit off-putting um, and there's not a lot I seem able to do about it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Uh, click on the little picture of my face and uh, come along, join the journey. I'll see you next time. Bye.